The Toronto Raptors continue to hang with the rest of a highly contested Eastern Conference this year. They've built a roster with a great mix of veterans and young talent that can develop together until they're once again ready to contend for a championship. And that time could be coming sooner than a lot of people realize. One of the most exciting young players that the Raptors have acquired over the years since they won a championship is Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr. was sent to the Raptors in March 2021 in a trade that sent Norman Powell to the Portland Trailblazers in exchange for Gary Trent Jr. and Rodney Hood. The Trailblazers seemingly didn't want to pay Trent Jr. the contract that he was going to be up for, and the Raptors were willing to pay that. And so far, it looks like Masai Ujiri has done it again. In this video, I'm going to go over why trading for Gary Trent Jr. was a genius move by the Raptors, why Gary Trent Jr. is currently and will continue to be an integral part of this Raptors team's future, and what's next for him as a player. So be sure to stick around until the end so that you don't miss anything. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Let's get right into it. Gary Trent Jr. just came off a stretch of five straight 30-point games. He was on fire, averaging a scorching 32.2 points and 1.8 steals per game on 65% true shooting. This stretch of games made him one of only seven players in the entire league to have a stretch of five or more consecutive 30-point games. The other players on that list, Joel Embiid, John Morant, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Kevin Durant, and Trey Young. That's pretty elite company for him to be with this year. He's legitimately been fantastic for the Raptors, and he's one of their top four scorers, averaging 18.1 points per game. It's also worth noting that Gary Trent Jr. is only 23 years old. He's only in his fourth season in the league right now. He's already averaging a really respectable 18.1 points per game on 39.9% shooting from three on a whopping 7.9 attempts per game. He's one of only four players in the NBA right now that are shooting 39% or higher from three on seven and a half or more attempts from three per game. He's an elite three-point shooter only in his fourth year at 23 years old. Now, I wanna talk about his contract before we go deeper into his abilities as a player. He's currently on a three-year contract where he's making an average of $17.2 million a year. Let that sink in for a second. The Raptors have a guy locked up on contract for the next three years that's already averaging 18 points per game with elite three-point shooting as well, with fantastic defense, and they're paying him less than $20 million a year. I'm not exaggerating when I say that Gary Trent Jr.'s contract is legitimately one of the most valuable contracts in the entire league. He's young, you've got him on a long-term deal, and most importantly from the Raptors' perspective, he's able to be packaged easily into a trade if the opportunity ever arose. Now, before you get mad in the comments and say there's no way the Raptors are trading Gary Trent Jr., I want to go ahead and say that yes, I agree. At least right now, there is absolutely no reason to even consider trading Gary Trent Jr. For the time being, I don't think the Raptors should entertain trading him unless it's for like a best player in the league caliber player. But what exactly does Gary Trent Jr. do so well? Where are these shots coming from? How is he getting them? What is he most skilled at? Well, Gary Trent Jr. truly is a complete three-point shooter. He's shooting 39% or higher on all types of three-point shots from all areas of the floor, except for pull-up threes, which he is still shooting a really solid 36% on. He's currently the fifth best pull-up three-point shooter in the NBA among guys attempting three or more pull-ups per game. Trent Jr.'s versatility as a shooter is one of the things that makes him so lethal. While he's able to fit seamlessly into an offense as a stationary catch-and-shoot guy, he's also able to operate with the ball in his own hands and create his own three-point shot. He's a good off-ball mover as well, a trait that I think all elite three-point shooters need to have in order to truly get the most out of them as players. This play is a great example of how Trent Jr. understands what he needs to do to get a good look. You can see him look at Fred Van Vliet, and he literally tells him to get Burtz the ball. Fred Van Vliet knows to set the screen, and Trent Jr. takes it and goes to get the handoff from Birch. Porzingis is going to switch on to Trent, and Porzingis sags off of him into drop coverage. Trent recognizes this, takes an easy step back, and drills the shot. 
Now, this play here is actually kind of funny because you're gonna see the defense just completely lose track of who's supposed to be guarding Gary Trent. Siakam brings the ball up and you can already see that Trent Jr. is cutting across the baseline out to the other perimeter. By the time he gets open, you can see Levine and Vucevic don't know who they're supposed to be guarding. Trent Jr. steps out, calls for the pass, and honestly seems surprised at how open he is and how much time he has. So he just pulls up and drains the three. Having a guy that can be both a catch and shoot guy while also operating well as an off ball shooter is super valuable. He's got an effective field goal percentage of 64% coming off of screens, and that's really good stuff to see from a 23 year old flamethrower. When it becomes so hard to keep track of him, it creates opportunities not only for him, but his teammates as well. Believe it or not, Trent Jr. is also a really good mid-range shooter. I'd go as far as saying he's one of the more underrated mid-range scorers in the NBA right now. Only eight guys in the entire NBA are hitting 47% or more of their mid-range shots while attempting three and a half or more mid-range shots per game, and he's one of them. Now, while Trent Jr. is very gifted on the offensive side of the ball, he's also been a terrific defender this year. He's been so good that he's fourth in the league in steals right now with 1.8 steals per game. His defensive feel and his instincts on when to double or when to go after a steal have been stellar this year. One aspect of his defense that makes him so great is his ability to disrupt passing lanes and force turnovers. On this play here, Harrell is going to call for the entry pass since he's posting up the smaller defender in Gary Trent. Dinwiddie is going to make the entry pass and Trent just weasels his way around Harrell and is able to get the steal. Here, Wagner is going to make a pass over to Gary Harris and Trent Jr. once again just sticks his hand on the ball and is able to nab it away from him. He's just a hustler, he does the dirty work to get the steal and he gives the effort required to force a turnover. He's actually fourth in the NBA right now in deflections per game with 3.3 deflections. He's truly becoming an elite defender, both on and off the ball. He's got the second most games with five or more steals this year. He's just got such a nose for getting these steals and forcing turnovers. So with all of this being said, what exactly do the Raptors have in Gary Trent Jr.? Is he just a high-end role player? Is he a catch and shoot guy? Is he just a three and D player? Or do they have a star? It seems like a disservice to his talents as a player to just reduce him to being that 3 and D mold. He's got so much more to his game than that. I don't know quite how high his ceiling goes, but with three-point shooting coming at a premium in today's NBA, he will certainly never not have a role in this league as long as he can continue to shoot and play defense the way that he does. In reality, the only limitation to his game right now is his finishing ability, although that's where the smallest number of his shots are coming from, so I can't even fault him too much for that. He's incredibly close to becoming a true three-level scorer because he has the mid-range, he has the three-point shooting ability, he really just needs the ability to finish at the rim at a high level to make him the complete package and catapult him into that star level player. So what do you think of Gary Trent Jr. this year? Be sure to let me know in the comments below and as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed the video because that's the number one way to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and get this video recommended to more people. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.